So yeah, we're, we're packing for the um, tip-off tournament. Um, we're going to New York City for five days. Me and Kenny have played at the highest stage before, um, and we'll be able to help you know, the rest of the guys become acclimated to um, the environment. And like I said, like we already have the, the talent, and we hope to um, be one of those teams that you know, people are scared to play when, they, when, when we're on their schedule. I feel like I've been trapped in a box my whole life, just you know, being in one spot. So like, just the experience to even come here. Now I'm going to New York for the first time. Like, it's it's crazy, man. We're feeling like really confident. Like, you know, we can be we can be the one. You know. It's a great city, you know, and it's going to be a new environment for for all of us playing in in the big stage. Well, for some of us, you know, it's our first game, first game as a unit. They look to me as the leader and. You know, they're going to be watching me, and I'm going to be watching them, and I expect them to carry themselves as professionals. The Big Apple, right? I'm packing up my Jordans. These are like my favorite shoe. I mean, favorite type of shoes to wear. Maybe an outfit or something if we get to go out all night or so. First place getting 35000 Second place getting 25000 Third and fourth place getting 10000 each. Just got to get that, that first, like, big stage moment out the way, and then it should be on and rolling in. The expectation right now is at the minimum to make it out of the group play as number one. And then, you know, we'll see what happens as we get into the elites of each group. But our expectations are high and we expect to, you know, win it all. Welcome to the NBA 2K League studio powered by Intel. Look at this beautiful facility. There is the court. The gamers will be coming down, all five of them. There's nothing I can tell you guys about 2K that you don't already know. You're all here under incredible odds. Countless esports teams have come in prepared and confident, and they've not risen to the occasion in their moment due to mental mistakes. You cannot dwell on what just happened for even a split second. I don't want to hear any complaining. I don't want to hear any whining on the comms. Comms are strictly for what's going on in the game. If someone makes a mistake, we'll review it next week. The difference between making the move that your teammates expect and the one that throws them off is the difference between chaos and chemistry. So be patient, a split second to collect more information and make sure that the play you're about to make is the right one will truly feel like an eternity, but it's going to be the difference between whether we win or lose these games. And I don't want you guys to win, I want you to go out there and dominate. If you do those things, you're going to show the 2K community something they've yet to see, and they're going to love you for it. I'm telling you. All right, hands in. Uprising on three. One, two, three. Uprising. Yeah, this is one of the big things too. I think Group C is probably going to be the most organized NBA 2K basketball I think we've seen when it comes down to the play calls, what these guys have in store for us. I know I talked to Magic Gaming before. They have they, they have some trick up their sleeves. They're they feeling do. very confident going into this one. <laughs> Let's start off with the away team. Ladies and gentlemen, Raptors Uprising GC. At point guard, you have the stars starting to line up. You have Kenny. At the two, you have Josh, small forward, all hail trade. Power forward to go alongside the it's the chemistry, the one-two punch, Detoxy. And at center, you're gonna have Yusuf to round out your Raptors uprising squad. Toronto, the T dot to six. Can all hail Trey be able to hit the shots on the outside? That's gonna be a big question going into this first game. Yeah, I've been hearing this team's got a couple of plays already drawn up, so it's gonna be good to see some nice execution out of them. Kenny with it first. Five to shoot here for the Raptors. And Kenny able to get it to go. The first bucket is good on that hand. Oh, Supreme, yeah, Supreme oh, Puller. Supreme. And he's able to knock it down. Gets it out. Detoxing the yes. corner. There you All go. Right. Oh, oh. A chance for a three point play. Flex on him. You can't stop that boy. That's now the game will end 68 to 51. That game was over for coming into that fourth quarter, Scott. That was that Raptors uprising squad was locked and loaded, and they just unleashed a whole clip. They scored 59 points in the final three quarters to just explode on the magic. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Told you, man. Believe in me, man. We got you, bro. You got me right, boy. I told you. I told you. We got more to come. We got more to come. Two more, man. Two more. Yo, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. One time. I'm rising all three. One, two, three. Uprising. 
Congratulations, you guys. So I look forward to seeing another two games, three and now maybe. Oh. We're looking forward to the next game. Humble brag, the humble brag with Kenny. Thank you, guys. When you look at the 76ers here, you just dropped the game to Blazer 5, and now the Raptors, who also looked really impressive in their first game, you can't have that one loss automatically turn into two. Well, I'm telling you, you know, it's really going to be a test of, of mental fortitude for this 76ers gaming club. So we're going to really see what this 76ers team is made out of. Well, they're going to be able to play this one at least on their home court there. ADN forces it up, can't get it to go. CDS with a jump. All right, fighting hard for it. That's what I want to see right off the gate. You know, we don't see the shot meter here. Right. As, as, as the bucket drops, we got eight to two. Oh, my God. will throw it down. That looks good on Hot start for the Sixers. They were 12 to 2 out the gate. Rough start for the Raptors. One of their first nine. I mean, there's really just the 76ers game. It's going back to the basics. And that's where I kind of give credit to the coach. And Steve's has been amazing on defense. Dude, Dini! Oh, oh my God, you want to talk about amazing. There's somebody who's been doing some big things for the 76ers squad. And Philadelphia style bounce back here and gets the win. 70 to 57. Let's go, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all gonna lose All next right. game. Let's go. Y'all just lost the magic. Hey, we're good. Y'all don't count, though, bro. Almost don't count. Almost don't count. Almost don't count. You guys have my stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I'm like, I'm sure that, bro. I know, but like, yeah, yeah, feel like they, they want to dab me after disrespecting me. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why are you gonna wave, wave? Why you wanna wave goodbye and then try to dab me? Like, like we, we just missed. We lost by 13. Mm -hmm. We missed open shots. You know what I mean? I think we just missed shots. Even if we were, even if your your teammate was slightly out of position, you're better off allowing that shot than than going and helping and then leaving up the wide open shot. They weren't actually shooting that first shot. They were baiting us and, and hitting the next guy. They was kind of baiting us. You know what I mean? Like we wasn't yeah. really going to our game plan. Um, having like a, some type of slasher on mm -hmm. the three would have helped last game. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's nothing that I believe in more when it comes to your professional career, then, you know, making mistakes, because that means you're, you're trying, you're experimenting, but learning from them, right? Never make the same mistake twice. All right, buddy. All right. All right. Talk to you soon. We're getting ready for this matchup. Blazer 5 at Raptors and Blazer 5 Gaming. 2-0 and oh so far in Group C. Raptors uprising 1-1. One and one. Let's go downstairs. Blazers Gaming, they know where they're headed here, but they have the opportunity to knock out the Raptors here. Can Blazer 5 go 3-0? and oh? Can well, the Raptors continue to bounce back? But Detoxies is going to have to have a big game. And here we go. Blazer 5. Kenny lost the handle for a moment. That man up ahead to Lavin. <laughs> Starting things off right. Chip Brown. Definitely. Baseline jumper for Yusuf. All right, he's going to start handling his business. Shots. Ooh, he has the throwdown. Yusuf will throw it down. Two hands for safety. He's been doing it all day, especially in that first game. Go ahead and take another look at it. Big man, big plays. 95 seconds left in this game. Huge implications on who plays on the weekend. Ball's loose and Yusuf. Huge turnover. Oh, oh, he right throws back. it back away. Yes. Yes. Able to finish. Under 30 to go. Kenny. Gotta play this smart. This has to be a bucket. And Yusuf. Yusuf. Rebound by Wona. Did that got one. a foul. They're not doing it. And they finally, even if he makes both, it'll still be a one possession game. It's not over. Design a play, figure something out. 60 to 59. Pressure is certainly on for that man. And he hits the second. Go down low. And the final Josh has it. Almost lost it. They got to use it. And it's possessed by the Raptors. But nonetheless, that is the situation we find ourselves in. Here we go, 3.6, and we're going to oh, have no. an illegal screen. Oh, no. And that's oh, going to no. give the ball back to Blazer 5. Oh, no. Not like this. And maybe that's a little bit of justice. They'll dribble the clock out. Blazer 5 will move to 3-0. 63 to 63-59, Blazer 5 now 3-0.
Raptors fall back to one and two. I don't see the opposite. So I'm overlooking. When I need a moment, though, you gotta talk. So I said we gotta communicate. I made I made clutch mistakes, man. So we got word, uh, the point differential and head-to-head -head matchup worked out that if Magic beat the Sixers right now by any amount of points, we're through. Uh, if Magic beat the Sixers by 32 or more, they're through, and if the Sixers beat the Magic, they're through, and we go home. So basically count on a Magic win. The Magic right now, okay. Logically, the only thing they could do is play spoiler. If they win, the Raptors are in. They need a win. Seven sixty four Sixers are moving on to the weekend. Man, man. Just like it. Can you find Broadway? See the glimmering we lights. Like, we, we ain't talking about the we ain't on that. We ain't talking about that. We ain't Only in New York. On Fifth Avenue. I see the dames in their curls. Dripping with pearls. Oh, what a view. The subway crawls from the street with walls to Harlem where music plays and the romance sparked in Central Park.